Another day, another election fraud lawsuit. A major election lawsuit now in Pennsylvania, which is one of the crucial battleground states that could decide who will be the next president. Right now, there are 140,000 new voter registrations in Pennsylvania, and many of them, now we learn, are reportedly questionable. The registrations were gathered, you won't be surprised to hear, by the group ACORN. That is the left-wing group that's now under investigation for voter registration fraud in at least 15, count 15 states. The Pennsylvania Republican Party now filing a lawsuit asking a judge to force Pennsylvania Secretary of State to make sure that these new registrations are all valid. The lawsuit says that Pennsylvania's 21 electoral votes and the next president may be determined by illegal ballots without some sort of court intervention. Rob Gleason is the state GOP chairman. He joins us now by phone. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Megan. Uh, all right, so you're talking 140,000 new voter registrations, including 85,000 in Philadelphia, gathered by ACORN? Absolutely. Uh, most of them were gathered by ACORN, and I'm, I'm very concerned about the validity, validity of these, uh, these registrations. Why? That's why what are you we're seeing, Rob? Well, I mean, we, we, the Philadelphia flagged uh, 50,000 um, uh, duplicate registra uh, re registrations. So just think how many more slipped through. So there's going to be a lot of people in the Philadelphia and other counties, too, that are going to be able to vote more than once. And that's one of the reasons that we're in court is to make sure that doesn't happen. And we've asked ACORN to turn over their list. We know that they kept the list of all the people that they submitted. So we want their list, and we want the Secretary of the Commonwealth to provide a foolproof system to make sure that people don't vote two or three times. We've seen uh, reportedly registration forms there where the signatures were all in the same handwriting, where st street addresses were found, in fact, to be vacant lots where names were listed on the forms that appear in the same order as they do in the local phone book. I mean, there is at least, as we say in the law, a prima facie case of somebody committing registration fraud. It appears these forms have come from the group ACORN, at least in part. Uh, what does the Secretary of State in Pennsylvania now say about it? They said it's a frivolous lawsuit and that everything's under control, but we know it's not because under the... Uh, Pennsylvania statewide uniform registry of elections, it's called the SURE system, has collapsed the volume of uh, registrants that have come in. Uh, we've also asked uh, the Secretary to be sure there's a lot of uh, enough provisional ballot applications. What has happened in the past, people come in, they say that uh, they can't find a registration, and let them vote anyway in some of these precincts. It's right, a, real vote, a real vote.